All right. Hey, welcome back to the electrical department. My name is John, and today I want to talk about shared parameters. So shared parameters is a feature inside of Revit that allows you to have consistent parameters across your different families and also across your different projects. So unlike project parameters, which are specific just to one project, these shared parameters can be used across multiple projects in all different kinds of families. So one of the big use case for me is to have these shared parameters inside of my light fixtures. So if all my light fixtures have the same shared parameter, I can actually create a light fixture schedule that pulls all the information and puts it in a nice organized schedule for me. Revit schedules are intelligent, which means that they will read the actual information in this parameter from every one of my lighting fixtures. So this is a very nice system to have, and it um, just keeps all my information consistent together in one spot, and it's pretty easy to implement in Revit. So today, let me show you how to start creating a shared uh, the shared parameter file, how to push these shared parameters into your uh, like light fixtures, for example, and then how to create a schedule to read these shared parameters. All right, let's get started. So in this project, I have a light fixture schedule set up already, and this is basically the end goal. Um, what we want is a smart schedule that can pull in all the different types of light fixtures that I have. Uh, and then it also, you know, describes what it is, the manufacturer, all that good stuff. And because this is a smart schedule, you can do certain things like you can add a, a column for quantity. It can help you count up how many fixtures there are within your project. So there's other loads that are, there's other um, properties that you can put in here, such as the load. So you can tell this fixture that it has 75 VAs worth of load. And then when you circuit it in Revit, it actually pushes this load into the panel schedule. So all of this is like very intertwined and you want to make sure that you have the information in correctly. So let's start off with how do you create a share parameter? So creating it is pretty easy. You go up here to the manage tab and there's a shared parameters uh, box over here. So if you click that, you can see that I have one that's already set up, but let's say you didn't have any of these. So you want to hit this create button and then it's going to ask you to save this to a certain location. So I'm just going to pick over here to my, my documents or whatever, you know, central location that you want to save your uh, shared parameters. So I'm just going to call this test for now. So, you know, name it like, you know, shared parameters, master, master file or something. And then we're going to hit save. So once you create this, it's technically a text file that sits, you know, in my documents folder, but it has to be edited. It has to be edited it by this uh, shared parameters window. So in here, you want to group them. So uh, let's say you want to have shared parameters for like your electrical fixtures, and you want to share parameters set for your electrical uh, luminaires, your light fixtures. So you know I would obviously want two separate groupings. So in here we would end up creating a new group, so we can call this you know uh, 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 elect can't type today electrical lighting. We could do lighting. And then maybe another group if you wanted to do like electrical fixtures, for example. So that this helps you organize your shared parameters um, in case you have a lot of them. So that way it's easier to find and you know not not so cumbersome. Uh, so I want to go back to electrical lighting. So in here, this is where you can start creating your individual parameters. So you want to click on the parameters button right here, new parameter. And then it's going to ask you what you want to call it. So um, sometimes you can go with like a more complicated format. Like it could be like, uh, you know, E underscore like SP underscore type or something. So if you want to make it more organized, you could do that. Uh, but, you know, maybe you just want to keep it uh, simple. You can do like LTG underscore type. Then you start. Uh, dictating what type of parameter this is. Is it a common one? Is it electrical? Is it, you know, whatever? So you can you can click on like electrical and then it changes the type of parameter under here. So for like lighting type, that's usually just a text file. So it'd just be common. And then I would just pick text. So we hit OK and you can see that it starts populating in here. So you can go ahead and just add like a few of them. So we're going to do um, M MFG for manufacturer. It's also going to be text. 
and then you want just uh, LTG underscore model for the model number be text and we'll just hit okay so just I'm gonna stop at three I mean obviously you can do a lot more but here is where you can hit okay save out and then you're going to want to go over to your light fixtures to push these shared parameters into the fixture. So if you go over here, let's say um, I already did the A type fixtures. So I don't want to mess them up. Uh, let's just do P type or H type. So in the H type fixture, you can see that I don't have, uh, you know what, here, let's go over here. So you see how these are all set up. So I have S, elect, lighting, notes, lighting type, or whatever. So this is this is what I want in all my light fixtures. Uh, if I go over to the H fixture, you can see that I don't have that. It's something different. These aren't shared parameters and uh, they are not very easy to schedule. So I'm gonna end up adding shared parameters to this and then I'm gonna take out these share param or these parameters. So let's go ahead and open up the H fixtures let's go ahead and open up uh, edit family okay so now that I'm in here we can actually start adding in the uh, parameters under this button up here so if we go over here to the family type you can see that we have all of our parameters listed now uh, we want to create new parameter down here and then over here is where we want to access our shared parameters so we're gonna click this radio button and then hit select. And then now you can see that I have either uh, electrical fixtures or electrical lighting. Um, if you don't see this and you might have to hit select and it'll ask you like where your text file is. So you'll just have to drill back to like your document folder or something. So here we're just gonna go along with these examples that I set up. So we're gonna click the first one, hit okay. Uh, just verify that you want this to be grouped under the correct things hit OK and then you can go ahead and just keep adding the next one select model hit OK um, hit OK here and you can see how like this could take a little while because you can't select more than one like right here if I try to hit shift select it won't do it you have to individually put one shared parameter at a time unless you use a plugin, which we happen to do. So here, I added all three of these and now they're sitting here. So this is great, um, but let me just show you how I use the roots to push all of these parameters into here all at once. So I'm gonna hit cancel, which I think deletes that. Yep, so it's not in here, right? I just hit cancel because I, I didn't want to save it. So I'm gonna show you how DRoots has a para manager right here. And this one's pretty cool because I could do add param, oh, sorry, not add, add parameter. Um, eh, let me delete that, delete, delete, delete parameter, yes. Okay, so I wanna import parameter. So import shared parameter, oh, here it is, test, okay. So we're gonna open that up, here it is. So you can see that there's the groupings here. So if I had uh, parameters under fixtures, it would show up, but I have lighting. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and check all of this and we're going to import and there you go so here's the three down here that we just imported uh, let's see these are these are probably gonna just be type yeah we're gonna do type for all of this and we're gonna keep them under text all right so we're gonna hit apply and then it's complete so now you can go back to here go to your family types and we can find them right there so you can see how that could be a lot faster if you had like 15 different parameters like doing that 15 times is a lot of work so droots is a great plugin to use to push a whole bunch of shared parameters into your family okay so now that we have our um, shared parameters in this family uh, you can go ahead and pre-populate some of the information so like if we want to do like um, manufacture or type let's just say type uh, type C for some reason uh, the manufacturer is like Columbia and maybe the model is like LCAT okay so we'll hit OK and then we're going to load it into our project uh, I'm not gonna save this instance but you could so that you don't have to redo this in the future so overwrite its 
parameters. Perfect. All right. So now if you click on this, you can see that under edit type, you should have your three share parameters that you brought in. So, oh, why does it not have a, uh, oh, there it is. Okay. That's right. I put it under H11. So H11 has all the types filled in. So now we want to create a lighting fixture schedule to read all of this shared parameters into a cohesive schedule. So this is what the end goal is, but let me start from scratch so that you guys know how to do it. So over here under schedule, we're going to do a new schedule, um, new schedule up here. And then I'm going to scroll down here to lighting. So if you just type L, it jumps you down. So lighting fixture, uh, let's see, we want to do actually, yeah, this would be, you know, I'll, I'll write test here. Lighting fixture test, um, schedule building components. Yes. In new phase. So right here is where you want to start pulling in your shared parameters. So if you go over here to LTG, you can see that your shared parameters are already in here because they're in the family that's in the project already. Um, this makes it easy to bring it in. So this is awesome. You just clicked. Oh, I did that really quick, didn't I? So if you just click the top one, hold shift, click the bottom one. And I think if you double click. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot you do this muscle memory fast enough that you forget what you have to say to do this. So it's hold, click on the top one and then hold shift and then double click on the bottom. So you see how like it just grabs all that and immediately throws it over. Uh, you don't have to be fancy. You could just click that, you know, this arrow, this arrow, this arrow. So it's up to you. Uh, but once you get it over here, let's just organize it. Let's say we want the type first then manufacturer, then model. Okay. Now we also want to filter. So I want to filter by just the, let's see, just the types. Yeah. Just lighting type parameter exists. So this helps me only pull the light fixtures that um, have the shared parameters in it. That way it doesn't break the schedule. Okay. So the next one, we want to sort by the type and then over here in formatting. So instead of LTG type, we'll, we can make this a lot prettier. Just be like fixture type. Um, I'm going to leave that. So manufacturer over here. Uh, and you know what I might do? manufacturer I think <laughs> oh I didn't mean to hit enter go back in here let's finish this so model yeah we can go back here hit model all right and then the last box uh, I don't really care for the blank row some people like it you know it's up to you if you want to do that so we could hit OK so there we go so now our fixture has type C it's Columbia it's LCAT and you can put in a lot more information if you want um, oh, actually I lost my account. So if you go back into your schedule fields, uh, you can do count. Here's this, here's count. You can add that in there, bring that to the top. And then that just tells you, you know, how many fixtures are in, um, this model. So if I were to go over here, which funny enough, this says H11, but this is now C. So if I were to copy this like five times, there's five fixtures here. Your test should have, oh, <laughs> I forgot to uh, check this one box. So sorting and grouping down here, itemize every instance. If you uncheck that, there we go. Now it says you have five of the type C fixtures, which are Columbia, LCAT, whatever. All right, guys. So that was shared parameters in a nutshell, how to create them, how to push them into families and how to make the schedule to read them. So if you have questions, put them in the comments down below. I know I'm you know, a little rusty from making videos. It's been a few months, uh, but you know, let me know how I did. And if you have questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you so much to my Patreon members that have been sticking with me through this downtime. Um, my personal issues that were going on, not issues. I just had, you know, family, family life came in. So family happened and I had to take a little break from this, but now I'm getting back to it. And Patreon, you guys are awesome. You stuck with me the whole time. Um, thank you, Tom, for checking in. Thank you for everyone on Discord that keeps the conversation going. It means the world to me that you guys stick around, so I appreciate it. All right, again, thanks for your time. Good luck, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.